The Lenovo ThinkPad T series of business laptops has been around for many years and for good reasons, dependable, great keyboards and popular workhorses. The T14S is one of the lightest and thinnest in the range, now with AMD Ryzen 7000 series and 13th gen processors. Does it do enough to stay on top? Let's find out. <music> The T14S combines three different materials for its deep black coloured chassis. Carbon fibre plastic is used for the display lid, while the palm rest is made of a magnesium alloy and the bottom cover is aluminium made. The iconic ThinkPad design shouts, it's made for years of work. Another positive is the green credentials, 90% recycled magnesium, 55% recycled aluminium and 22% recycled carbon fibre. The chassis is rigid and solid on the keyboard deck and the display panel has excellent protection from the lid. It's military standard 810H military tested and weighs in at 1.26 kilograms or 2.77 pounds, allowing you to comfortably carry it around with one hand. Talking of fingers, the ThinkPad's anti-smudge coating does a good job of keeping sweaty fingers and palms away. To open the bottom maintenance cover, Loosen the five captive Phillips screws and pry open. DDR5 memory is soldered on so it cannot be upgraded, along with the Wi-Fi card. The single M.2 2280 SSD and the 57 watt hour battery is removable, along with the optional wireless WAN card. Tip, at time of purchase, make sure you order the maximum 32GB model to make the most of the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 7840U and 780M iGPU. Its cousin, the T14, G4 Intel has a single sodium memory slot. This review model has a 14 inch WXGA 1920x1200 60Hz IPS anti glared non touch matte display panel. Color accuracy is rated at 45% NTSC. Fine for office use but not for image editing work. Brightness is rated at 300 nits. Okay for indoor use but not near a sunny window or outdoors. Reflection is kept down thanks to the matte finish on the panel. As with most 2023 laptops, the display is at a 16-10 aspect ratio, giving extra height space for office productivity. The solid twin hinges open up to the traditional ThinkPad 180 degrees flat, offering plenty of viewing flexibility. There are a plethora of display options with the T14S. 2.8K OLED, 90Hz 400 nits 100% DCI P3 screen option. Two touchscreen panel options including one with e-privacy filter and a 2.2K 300 nits 100% sRGB option too. Tip, go for the 400 nits 100% sRGB low power display panel if you can. On the left we have two USB 4 Type-C 40 gigabits per second supports, data transfer, power delivery 3 and DisplayPort 1.4a, HDMI 2.1 up to 4K 60Hz, a USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port with always on and a headphone microphone combo jack. Either USB-C ports can be used for charging. On the right we have a Kensington Nano Security Lock, a USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 port and an optional smart card reader. At the rear is an optional 4G LTE Nano SIM slot. The wireless card inside the T14S is a Qualcomm Wi-Fi 6E NFA 725A 11AX 2x2 and Bluetooth 5.1 combo. Wireless connectivity during testing was reliable and solid. Bluetooth to an external mouse or speaker was excellent too. The keyboard remains unchanged from the G3 with 1.5mm key travel. Old timers will still reminisce of the 1.8mm keys, but the current G4 keys are still extremely comfortable to type on for long hours. Well spaced out, great tactile feedback and two level backlighting. You still get full size cursor keys, dedicated page up and down keys. The trackpad remains the same from the G3. The 115mm trackpad has a smooth Maillard coating, giving comfortable finger gliding on the surface. The integrated buttons feel a bit too loose when depressed, giving a cheap feel, spoiling the otherwise excellent chassis from a premium business laptop. Plus, it's not particularly quiet on the buttons when pressed down. The ubiquitous track point is present with three dedicated buttons, useful for tight spots like sitting on a crowded plane. The stereo speakers are rated at 2 watts each with tuning by Dolby Audio, located above the keyboard. Audio from them is above average at high volume, there's no distortion from vocals like a team's meeting. Microphone sensitivity is good too. The fairly warm audio is good enough for background music or watching catch-up shows on Netflix. No surprise bass is lacking with these speakers. Here are some audio samples. Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign.
The webcam is five megapixels with IR sensors and there's a slider for the privacy shutter. Nanovo have provided an app called Nanovo View to enhance the quality of the webcam experience. Features include video enhancer, background removal, auto framing to keep your face central, and virtual presenter to display your camera feed while giving presentations. Video quality wise, this webcam is not half bad. Decent quality, color reproduction is good in most lighting conditions, one you can use daily for your Teams or Zoom meetings. Inside this review model is AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 7840U processor, 3.3 GHz up to 5.1 GHz. TDP is rated at 15 watts up to 30 watts. The Pro versions offer additional security, manageability and reliability features for work environments, along with 32GB of DDR5 6400 MHz soldered on memory and a 512GB SSD M.2 2280 PCIe Gen 4 storage drive. The T14S flies through productivity apps with ease, perfect for power users on the go, software developers or coders. If you go with a high spec display panel, there's plenty of power and tap for Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom work, which depends on single core processing. Even video editing on the go with Premiere Pro is possible, although the Intel QuickSync technology via the Iris XE GPU has an advantage over the Radeon 780M. For our performance test, we set extreme performance mode in Windows and plugged the laptop into the mains during testing. Here are the benchmarking results for the ThinkPad T14S Gen 4. 3D Mark Time Spy results came in with an overall score 2,779, CPU score 7,635, and a graphics score of 2,499. 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme had an overall score 1,297, graphics score 1,162, and CPU score 3,814. PC Mark 10 had an overall score of 6,371. Cinebench 2024 testing produced a score in multi core of 615 and 96 in single core. Cinebench R23 testing produced a score in multi core of 9,581 and 1,743 in single core. Geekbench 6 gave a CPU score of 2,081 in single core and 9,534 in multi core and 27,000. 270 in the GPU compute benchmark. Superposition resulted in a score of 4,555. Here is a comparison with the HP EliteBook 865G10 with 16GB single channel memory. Using the quick CPU tool, the 7840U CPU clock stays between 3 to 4 GHz and below its maximum TDP of 25 watts. CPU temperature is around 50 Celsius for web browsing and video playback. The AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 7840U sits alongside the Intel i7-13620H and i7-1370P in general benchmarking scores. It's ahead of the Intel Core i7-1365U. The single fan hardly comes on when you're working with Office apps, working on multiple web tabs or video playback. It's virtually silent. Even running 3D benchmarking tools, the fan is barely audible. When the fan does kick in under full load, it can get loud up to 39 decibels. Heat-wise, the right side vent blows out warm air. The underside is slightly warm to the touch after running heavy 3D tasks. On the keyboard, the temperature is around 36 Celsius or 97 Fahrenheit near the top. Near the CPU or the vent, it goes up to 40 Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit. The AMD Radeon 780M is an integrated graphics processor from the AMD 7040 family of CPUs. Based on the RDNA3 architecture with 12 CUs, clocked at up to 2.7 GHz and power rating of 28 watts. Performance is comparable to the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 and around 8% faster than its predecessor, the 680M. The 780M has 1GB of dedicated RAM and up to 16GB of shared GPU virtual memory. On battery power, the GPU uses a maximum of 12 watts compared to an average of 21 watts on mains power. Gaming is possible with the AMD Radeon 780M, even with the most demanding titles in minimum graphics settings. Tip, it definitely helps to have 32GB of dual channel memory, giving over 50% better graphical performance over 16GB single channel memory. Let's take a look at some gaming samples.
Inside the T14S is a 57 watt hour battery, same as the previous G3 model. Set at best power efficiency 30% brightness with our video playback test, battery life was around 10 hours. Set at balance mode 50% brightness, battery life for general office usage was less than 9 hours. Best performance and brightness, full load, battery life lasted less than 2 hours. Rapid charge is supported, charging up to 80% in 1 hour with the included 65 watt USB-C slim power adapter. Security wise, the AMD CPU offers the Microsoft Pluton TPM 2.0 security chip and AMD Pro security suite, delivering real time full system memory encryption via AMD Memory Guard. There's a fingerprint reader integrated in the power button, Kensington Nano security slot, webcam privacy shutter, and IR camera sensor for Windows Hello. Lenovo have included a handy set of webcam tools by glance under the Lenovo View app. For example, if someone approaches you from behind, it automatically alerts you or blurs the screen under Lenovo's ultrasonic human presence detection banner. The good, the bad, and the really bad. Blistering CPU. The AMD processor offers significantly more multi-core performance with the lower TDP than its Intel U-series cousins. There's more than enough power in the 7840U to keep a power user happy. Useful iGPU. Alongside the CPU, the Radeon 780M is a beast for integrated GPU. Plenty of graphical grunt for work and after-hours gaming. Decent inputs. You know as soon as you mention a ThinkPad, you'll get best-in-class keyboard, a smooth touchpad and a handy track point. Plentiful ports. For a compact and slim laptop, the T14S comes with more ports than larger laptops. Two USB 4 Type-C ports, two USB Type-A ports and a HDMI port. No 5G. Lenovo engineers have forgotten that in late 2023, most countries will have 5G coverage. Where's the 5G WAN for the SIM slot at the rear of the T14S? Or better still, a 5G eSIM option, soldered memory. If you buy a slim or thin laptop, it has to be soldered on memory only these days. Either get the 32GB DDR5 model at the time of purchase, or go for its cousin, the ThinkPad T14 Gen 4 Intel variant with a single sodium slot. If you were in the market for a 14-inch Business Ultra Portable, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here's some to consider. HP EliteBook 845G10 Dell Latitude 7440 MSI Prestige 14 Evo B13M Apple MacBook Pro 14 M3 HP Dragonfly G4 Acer Travelmate P4 14 Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 11 Asus ExpertBook B5 B5602 Sometimes there is a perfect marriage of components that makes a perfect laptop. Take the raw power of the AMD Ryzen 7 Pro 7840U and 32GB of DDR5 6400MHz dual-channel fast memory. The end result is a powerful laptop with decent battery life and the fastest integrated graphics you can buy in the Radeon 780M. Just make sure you get the 400 nits 100% sRGB low power display panel to exploit better battery life and color accuracy. Sprinkle and tried and tested lightweight solid chassis. Plenty of ports including two USB 4 ports and excellent inputs. All day typing with a comfortable ThinkPad keyboard and a choice of touchpad or track point mouse options. Okay, there's still some niggles like the soldered on memory, lack of ethernet port and SD card reader but these are not deal breakers. Overall, the Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 4 retains its title of king of the 14-inch business laptop category. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Lenovo ThinkPad T14S Gen 4 AMD laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.